Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be three more DIYs and these are going to be super kid friendly. My little ones helped me, if you want to say helped me. They're little so they don't really quite understand but if you've got little ones that are a little bit older they can totally help you with this stuff. So this first one I'm going to be putting ribbons on my kitchen cabinets and making them look like presents. So what I did was just kind of measured the width and the height of the doors and then I cut my ribbon and then I just started taping it to the cabinets. And if you guys saw from the start of the video, I bought three things of the ribbon rolls and I don't think it was enough. So you guys are going to laugh at me, but I could not figure out how to tie a really good bow. So I ended up pretty much making it myself. So I cut out little pieces and glue gunned it together to make it look like a bow. And then I just went ahead and glued it right onto the cabinet. And for it being a fake bow, I think it turned out pretty cute. If you guys have any questions on how I did this, let me know. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, but yeah, if you guys know how to tie a cute bow, then you won't have this problem. But I could not figure it out. All right, for this next one, you're gonna need a tall white candle and a, well, I bought a kitchen towel. You just need a little scarf for the snowman. And I got all this stuff at Dollar Tree and then I ended up, I already had the Sharpies. I used a black Sharpie and an orange Sharpie to draw on it. So you don't need much for this one. So the first thing I did was just cut the towel and I did it long ways because I didn't know how long I was gonna need it to make a scarf. And I tried it a little thicker and realized that wasn't gonna work. So I just cut it so it was a little bit thinner and you're just gonna cut this up and then tie it around like a scarf. And then I went ahead and glue gunned it down so that I knew it would stay in place really well. Plus it wasn't laying exactly how I wanted it to, so if you glue it down, then it will stay put. My dear friend. And then you're just gonna take your Sharpie and draw some little eyes in his mouth. And then also with the black, I did some buttons down his belly. And then with the orange, I just made his little nose. Sorry about my hair in the way. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize this until I was editing. Sorry. We found the sunshine. We found the gold. We thought we'd be forever young, but now I know. We can't keep floating. We have to fall. Okay, and for this last one, you are going to need these three little pots. It comes in a little three pack at Dollar Tree and I spray painted them white. You can really spray paint them whatever color you wanted, but I just liked the white. And then once those are dry, I brought them in and I'm opening this little three pack of pine cones. This was also from Dollar Tree and they're the cinnamon ones, so they smell amazing. So I went ahead and took these outside and I sprayed them with my spray adhesive. And then when I got them in, I sprinkled them with the green glitter. Now you can totally use green paint on this if you wanted, but I thought the glitter would look really pretty. So that's all you do for this one. Caught up in the flesh and light. And then once you get all the glitter on there, you're just gonna wanna glue them into the little pot. And you don't need to glue them in there, you could just set them in there, but I didn't want them to, like if they knocked over, I didn't want them to fall out. But that is all you do for this one, you guys. This one was so easy. I think these all turned out so cute and they're totally kid-friendly. The kiddos could help you make these. And the, everything was from Dollar Tree. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you all next time, bye. Can't go on.